Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Thank you, Chairman and members of the uh, Criminal Justice Committee. Uh, I'm here today to, rep to uh, introduce House Bill 216 to exempt dimethyltryptamine from the Controlled Drug Act. All right. So uh, consciousness is a strange phenomenon. It uh, can't be explained. It's kind of hard to think about. We, we actually don't even know how to define it. Um, and DMT is a substance that may be a link between the physical world and the spiritual world. So dimethyltryptamine, commonly known as DMT, is a naturally occurring psychedelic substance that's been used for centuries in traditional spiritual practice. Uh, DMT can be smoked or vaped, uh, can be ingested in, as tea in the form of ayahuasca. Uh, DMT is uh, speculated to exist in all animal and plant life, but it's known to exist in uh, hundreds and thousands, uh, known thousands of plant and animal species. And it's also in the human body, uh, believed to be produced in the penile gland of the brain. So this molecular compound is extremely common on Earth, and no one actually knows why it exists or what its uh, function is in plants and animals. Uh, because we just have no research on it. So uh, according to the National Survey on uh, Drug Use and Health, less than 1% of Americans aged 12 and older reported using DMT at least once in their lifetime. Uh, so DMT is just not abused. All right. And uh, I have a lot of testimony here on actually the effects of DMT, but I'm going to defer that to Derek, who's an actual expert. Um, so I'll just talk about freedom to practice religion. So uh, in 2006, there was a Supreme Court case where U.S. Customs agents seized over uh, 30 gallons of ayahuasca that was being shipped to a church in New Mexico. And the Supreme Court unanimously delivered judgment in favor of the church under the 1993 Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Uh, Chief Justice Roberts held that the government had not adequately demonstrated had a compelling interest in banning what even federal prosecutors admit is a sincere religious practice. And uh, so there's just churches uh, using DMT and ayahuasca in ceremonies becoming uh, rapidly mainstream in the United States and Canada. So any restriction on the substance when intended to be used in a religious practice is a violation of Article 5 of the New Hampshire Constitution, where every individual has a natural and unalienable right to worship God according to the dictates of his own conscience and reason and no subject shall be hurt, molested, or restrained in his person, liberty, or estate for worshiping God in the manner and season most agreeable to the dictates of his own conscience, or for his religious uh, profession, sentiments, or persuasion, provided he does not disturb the public peace or disturb others in their religious worship. Um, so uh, any questions I would actually like you guys, as far as what DMT does and how it works, I'd like you to defer to Derek. He's talk to lots of uh, PhDs and people that uh, know this topic and has uh, extensive experience with it. In 2018, Free Keen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.